so we were discussing about the nine point circle in this video we will look into a proof of this idea but let me first remind you what this problem was we have a triangle ABC and we have the midpoints of the three sides so let's call this D this one is E and this one is F of course through three non collinear points a circle will pass through DEF right we also want to show that they pass through some other interesting points for example if I drop a perpendicular from A to BC suppose this point is L then I want to show that the circle that passes through DEF happens to pass through L as well I mean this is of course not obvious I mean you have to prove this through no, three non collinear points DEF I can always draw a circle but there is no guarantee that this circle will also pass through this point L that's the that's the part that we need to prove in fact we want to show that this particular circle passes through the midpoints the mid feet of altitude and three other special points which we will discuss in the next video of course but for this one I want to show that DEF and L are collinear uh, are concyclic how can I do this so as a first step I will ask you to show this is something you can easily show that there are some parallelograms in the picture so first let me draw the quadrilateral D E D F E L this is the quadrilateral D F E L so our goal is to show D F E L is cyclic okay so how do we show this as a first step as a first step let's observe that the point E is the circumcenter of triangle A L C so this is a pretty big claim and this is such an important claim that I'll ask you to actually do this as an exercise so what is the claim the claim is midpoint of hypotenuse of a right triangle is its circumcenter can you prove this if you can put a comment in the description this is a very very important tool in geometry that the midpoint of the hypotenuse so in this case the hypotenuse is AC the midpoint so midpoint of the hypotenuse AC which is E is the circumcenter of triangle A L C triangle A L C which essentially means and this is something that we will use which means that these two angles are equal why well because EA is equal to EL that's the radius right if E is the circumcenter of ALC then clearly EA EL and EC all three of them will be equal they are the red eye of the circle so if these two are equal now notice that this angle is C right here this angle this is if this is angle C then this is 90 minus angle C 
because a angle ALC is 90 degree which means that this particular angle right here is also 90 minus angle C so in fact this angle right here is 90 degree so this total angle right here ELD angle ELD is 90 plus 90 minus C which is 180 minus angle C okay and we are almost done here because can you show that E D F D C E is actually a parallelogram so show that F D C E is a parallelogram I'll give you a hint use the midpoint theorem midpoint theorem if you don't know what that is you can ask me in the comment and I'll give you an answer okay so this particular thing maybe I can shade it in red this is a parallelogram so this angle right here is angle C why because this one is C opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal so now we are back in the quadrilateral we are back in the quadrilateral that we are interested in this is C this green angle is angle C and this green angle this green angle right here is 180 minus angle C that's what we found earlier right it's 180 minus C so notice that two opposite angles add up to 180 degree which means that this is a cyclic quadrilateral which also means that I can use the same strategy instead of taking L I can use the same strategy for C M which is another altitude or I can use the same strategy for B N which is another altitude so for all the three altitudes feet of the altitudes each of them taken one at a time can be shown to be concyclic with D E and F so in other words we just showed that all the three altitudes feet of altitudes LMN and DEF are in fact concyclic so think about the little problems that I talked about um, so for example I asked you to prove that midpoint of so this is a question that you should do midpoint of hypotenuse is midpoint of hypotenuse is circumcenter and you should also try the proof that D F E C is a parallelogram okay okay try these and uh, let's meet each other again in the next video keep on doing great mathematics all the best